Hey, wanna know something scary? A magma chamber the size of Manhattan has just been discovered underneath Yellowstone National Park. This discovery was made by an international team of geophysicists led by Dr. Jamie Farrell from the University of Utah. They use seismic tomography to map out what's happening beneath the surface at Yellowstone, and they found something that has really got them worried. Let's find out more about this in today's episode. Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the world's largest and most active supervolcanoes. The volcano is so massive that three of its calderas are visible from space. In fact, the park is littered with hot springs, geysers and fumaroles, all of which are evidence of the immense heat that's generated deep inside the Earth's crust there. The sheer scale of this volcano is staggering. It's 43 by 28 miles across and extends to depths of over 70 miles. Just how much magma is stored in its vast chambers remains a mystery, but scientists estimate it could contain anywhere between 1,000 and 3,000 cubic miles of molten rock. To put that into perspective, if you were to spread it out evenly over the park, the magma would form a layer nearly nine miles thick. The most recent eruption of this supervolcano occurred approximately 640,000 years ago and resulted in the formation of the Yellowstone caldera. Its most recent activity dates back only 17,000 years when the magma chamber started to inflate once again, leading to the formation of the Lava Creek caldera. What we know about Yellowstone comes mainly from studying these past eruptions. However, despite our best efforts, many aspects of the volcano remain poorly understood. One reason for this is the remote location of the park in the northwestern part of Wyoming, which makes it difficult to conduct research. Another reason is the sheer size of the area, which covers over 2.2 million acres or more than 3,400 square miles. This vast area includes everything from forests and mountains to rivers and lakes. The remoteness and sheer size of the park make it difficult to study the volcano. In addition to the challenges posed by its location, the climate of Yellowstone also poses a significant barrier to research. The park experiences harsh weather conditions, including freezing temperatures, heavy snowfall and strong winds. These conditions make it difficult to access certain parts of the park, especially during the winter months. Furthermore, the remote location and harsh climate of Yellowstone make it challenging to transport equipment and personnel to the site. As a result, studying the volcano can be a daunting task, but scientists have come up with innovative ways to overcome these challenges. For example, they use advanced technologies such as satellites and drones to monitor the volcano remotely. By using these technologies, scientists can collect data on the volcano's activity without having to enter the park's dangerous areas. All of this is well and good, but no one wants to take chances when it comes to volcanoes. And because of that, we still don't have a very clear idea of exactly what's going on inside the Earth's crust beneath Yellowstone. But thankfully, technology is improving all the time. And in a new study published recently in the journal Science Advances, a team of researchers led by Jamie Farrell from the University of Utah have developed a new 3D model that shows how magma has been moving under the Yellowstone supervolcano. So how did they do it? Well, they recorded seismic waves produced by earthquakes around Yellowstone. To do this, they used a network of local and regional seismographs maintained by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, which had recorded the P and S waves of more than 1,000 earthquakes that happened within 50 kilometers of Yellowstone between 2000 and 2020. They then focused on events that occurred at depths ranging from 5 to 35 kilometers below the surface. That's important because it's where the majority of magma is thought to accumulate below Yellowstone. They first used these records to construct 2D images of the subsurface and then created a 3D model by combining multiple 2D images. This process enabled them to visualize the interior of Yellowstone with unprecedented clarity. What they found was nothing short of incredible. They discovered a huge magma chamber located just eight kilometers beneath the eastern flank of the Yellowstone caldera. What's even more remarkable is that this magma chamber is nearly the same size as Manhattan. The findings of this study have far-reaching implications for our understanding of Yellowstone. For starters, 
It suggests that the magma chamber responsible for the 13,000-year-old Lava Creek eruption is significantly larger than previously thought. It also indicates that magma has been accumulating beneath the caldera for much longer than previously believed. But it's not just the size of the magma chamber that's important. Its location is also crucial. The fact that it's located so close to the surface means that there's a high potential for volcanic activity in the area. In fact, the researchers believe that the magma chamber could be the source of future eruptions at Yellowstone. The presence of a large magma chamber beneath the surface of Yellowstone has raised concerns about the potential for volcanic activity in the area. While the risk of a major eruption is low, it's not impossible. According to the United States Geological Survey, the chance of a large eruption at Yellowstone in any given year is about 1 in 750,000. However, Scientists cannot rule out the possibility of a large eruption occurring in the next 10,000 years. In fact, the last two eruptions at Yellowstone were much larger than anything that has happened since humans have lived on the planet. If there was another eruption of that scale, it would cause widespread devastation. But it's not just the direct effects of an eruption that we need to worry about. There are likely to be significant environmental consequences as well. The ash and debris ejected during an eruption would blanket large parts of North America, causing widespread crop failures and disrupting food supplies. In addition, the sulfur dioxide gas released during an eruption would damage crops and harm wildlife. The economic impact of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating. The agricultural industry would suffer massive losses, and the cost of cleaning up the mess would be enormous. However, it's important to remember that the chance of a Yellowstone eruption in our lifetime is incredibly small. Scientists continue to monitor the volcano closely and are prepared to take action if necessary. Overall, while the prospect of a Yellowstone eruption is concerning, it's important to remember that such events are rare and we are prepared to deal with them. However, as if things weren't complicated enough, there's yet another problem at Yellowstone. A new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research. Solid Earth has revealed that increased earthquake activity is occurring beneath Yellowstone's supervolcano. Now it should be noted that earthquakes are a normal occurrence at Yellowstone, and scientists are always expecting them to happen. But something is different this time. Between 1985 and 2020, there was a notable increase in the number of earthquakes that happened every year at Yellowstone. It all started after a swarm of earthquakes hit the region in 1985. At the time, scientists were able to identify a magma intrusion responsible for the quake swarm. This magma intrusion, located beneath the Norris Geyser Basin, caused the ground to bulge upward at a rate of 5 inches per year. Over the following decades, this uplift eventually subsided and the magma intrusion migrated deeper into the Earth's crust. But in recent years, earthquake activity at Yellowstone has picked up again, and this time, scientists are struggling to explain why. In total, there were more than 1,000 earthquakes recorded at Yellowstone between 2009 and 2020. But according to the lead author of the study, Jackie Kaplan Auerbach, these earthquakes are unrelated to the magma intrusion that caused the uplift in 1985. So what's really going on here? Well, some scientists think that the increase in earthquakes could be linked to the injection of wastewater from oil and gas drilling into the ground. But this theory doesn't hold up, because the injection of wastewater has been going on for much longer than the recent increase in earthquakes. Others believe that the increase in earthquakes could be related to the magma chamber that was identified in the new study. According to this theory, the magma chamber is gradually filling up and putting pressure on the surrounding rocks causing them to break and release energy in the form of earthquakes. But it's still early days, and scientists need to collect more data before they can say for sure what's causing the increase in earthquakes. Whatever the cause may be, it's clear that something unusual is happening beneath Yellowstone, and it will continue to be monitored closely. We'll keep an eye on this story and bring you any updates. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.